Hi, it's Deb, and I really wanted to share with you, I just got a phone call from a woman who was, uh, she just, her, she was sobbing, her heart was just ripped out, going through a breakup, feeling so weak and feeling so, so powerless. And, and she was sharing about how she hates to always be the one in her life who is, who's got the problems, who is complicated, and, and she was terrified that it was now going to impact her business and her ability to focus. And, and she was so low and it just, it called forth in me to share with her something that I deeply, deeply wanna share with you. Because this, this occurred to me the other day and it created so, so much healing in my own life. The extent to which we fully, fully let ourselves go and surrender to the sadness or the pain or the sorrow or the grief of the present moment is the extent to which we access freedom. We begin to actually access the path to freedom. And let me tell you something, is that surrender is not the way of the weak. It is absolutely the way of strength and courage. It takes so much courage to completely come undone. That is the one thing in our society that is the one thing that we are told to never do. Don't be too much and don't be, so, don't be a mess, right? Keep it together, carry on. And we get this messaging and we don't wanna be weak and we don't wanna be that person. We don't wanna be a victim and we don't wanna be needy. And so we try to pull it together and we are cutting ourselves off. We are cutting ourselves off from truly, truly accessing the depths of who we are. And it is only from that place of deep, deep connection, deep sadness, deep grief, deep longing, deep emotion, that we create a foothold that allows us to move in the direction of freedom. And so today, if you are in your head, in that conversation of, I don't wanna be vulnerable, I don't wanna be weak, I don't wanna look stupid, and you think that that is actually keeping you safe, I want you to know that you are holding yourself hostage. And if you are willing to step outside of your current comfort zone, which ironically is probably not very comfortable. There is an entire world available to you of so much on authenticity, so much power, so much connection, but it's gotta happen through the channel of you getting uncomfortable you being willing to step into that place of grief or sadness or longing or deep emotion. And it's gonna take a lot of courage. But I promise you, I promise you that you walk through that. You access the courage through source, you access the courage through connection with a mentor or with, with a sister with a friend, with a family member, and you walk through that and you will never ever regret it because of what you will gain, who you will be, and how you will deeply, deeply come back to the self that you never even knew. So from my deepest, deepest heart and soul, I, I, my wish for you is that you give yourself the gift 
of sweet surrender, that you galvanize within yourself the courage to get uncomfortable, to let things go, to get messy. And I promise you that you will access a deeper level of power and strength and, and grace that you didn't even know was in you. So thank you for spending these few moments with me, taking this time for you. I'll connect with you next time. Bye for now.